Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of more Extinction Explorer notes. We are getting pretty close to the end, but we still have a little bit to go. And in this video, we are going to cover the notes that are located roughly here on the map, uh, which includes the Ice Titan Cave. So, um, uh, yeah, but we're starting here at these coordinates roughly. The surrounding area is uh, pretty distinctive. We have the city on one side. We have this big ribcage skeleton over there. But what we want to do is that we want to look towards the ice dome, the snow dome, which means we should have the ribcage on our left and the city kind of behind us slash to our right. And if you look towards the snow dome, you should see that there is an incredibly kind of pointy diagonal rock right here. Uh, and that's kind of what you want to use as your key marker. But it's actually this rock down here that's the key. But what you want to do, if you look towards the pointy rock, you'll see there's a path below it. This one right here. That kind of goes on the right side of it. And you want to follow that path. So just get to the path. Uh, and then follow it to the right like this. But once you reach the smaller rock right here, if you just go to the base of it, on the path and just to the base of this big rock, we actually find a Diana log. This is Diana log number 15 at 35.6 by 62.2. Then for our next note, we want to start in the same location again. So here are the coordinates. And here's the surrounding area. And this time, if you look towards the dome, you have that spiky diagonal rock like before. But we want to actually look left, and you see there's a massive rock over here as well. But if you look down, you'll see that there is another rock that's not quite as big, but it's this one. There is quite a few kind of rocks of similar size in this area, but it is this one that's closest to this rock right there that we want to go to. What you want to do is that you want to go left of that rock till you get to here. So here's the rough coordinates. But uh, yeah, so you're now kind of on the left of that rock if you look towards the snow dome. And if you look down, or if you look on the side of this, you should see that there's a lot of bushes right here, but there is one patch right there that is just clear of all of these bushes. You want to go here, right here, but there's still no note, and that's because this one is pretty well hidden. But if you look in the, these bushes right here, again, it's right next to the rock, so alternatively, you could just hug the rock until you hit the note. Uh, but in one of these bushes right here, you can kind of see it. We have a Helena note. It's kind of hidden there. This is number 10 at 31.2 by 59.5. If I just move a little bit away, you can kind of see it there. Then for our next note, we want to go to this location. So here's the rough coordinates. Uh, we now have the rib cage behind us, this big rib cage behind us. And if you look towards the dome, you'll see that you now have this pretty pointy rock, uh, which is pretty big. And it also has a clear tunnel going straight through it right there. Uh, shouldn't be very difficult to spot because it's kind of the only tunnel alongside or in any of these rocks in this area. So you want to go through this tunnel but you don't want to go, like, past the tunnel. You want to go into the tunnel. And if you look there on the right, kind of in the middle of the tunnel here, down here on the right, uh, clearly visible, we find Mayan note number 18 at 27.3 by 60.9. We're now moving into the snow dome for a few notes. So, we are located here on the map uh, and the coordinates. 
This area is fairly distinctive. I mean, it is all snow, but you have a river running alongside here, and there's a land bridge going above the river, and then if you look above, you have this shelf kind of over the bridge again, kind of creating a massive overhang or kind of a massive shaded area underneath. And it's on top of this shelf up here that we'll find the note. So on the very tip up here, we will find Mayan note number 10 at 26.4 by 71. And then if we start from the same location again, so here are the coordinates and the map location. We have the bridge, the river, and that plateau shelf up there. But what you want to do is you want to turn the other way around this time, and you want to go back towards the border, as you can see. And when you get close, like this, you'll see that it starts turning to the right. There's a mountain on your right as well, or a little kind of cliff. And once you get to this point about here, I'll just give you the rough coordinates, but roughly here, you look on top of the mountain, there is this little flat shelf down here, little plateau, and you can see that on tip of on the tip of that, it shouldn't be too difficult to spot because there is no vegetation kind of blocking it or anything. You find Mayan note number 14 at 22.2 by 65.8. Then we are going to move to the Ice Titan Cave, which is located at these coordinates. Um, it's outside the dome. It's on the border of the dome on the outside. You can see that right here. Um, however, before we enter the cave to get a couple of notes, we're going to take a few notes outside of it. Uh, the first one is kind of tricky, but it's not too difficult. You want to move to basically the very entrance of the cave like this. And you see that there is quite a lot of trees kind of around it, these white trees. But if you look to the right, it should be a pretty tall one. It's much taller than the rest. And if you go behind that... If you land on the closest side, so the entrance should be on your left, around the back, you can see that hidden in the grass here, we find Mayan note number 17 at 20.6 by 61.7. Uh, and then for our next note, we want to move back to the entrance. Obviously, we're literally at the entrance, but this time, instead of going into the entrance you want to turn around and it should be this spike or like kind of small rock kind of pointy rock right here um you can see there's a river to your right as well and in front of it you have two trees and you have a couple of uh, a lot of bushes ground clutter bushes not actually it's not clutter because you can harvest these but a lot of bushes right here including those kind of plants with the pointy ends and you can see that among the all the bushes here, and right next to some of these yellowish pointy plants, you will find Helen, a note number 12, at 19.7 by 60.8. And then for the final note that is outside of this cave, in the immediate area, we have to look towards the cave entrance, but we have to go above it. You need to get up on top of the border and you actually want to go through go back into the ice dome like this and then if you look right you see one of these you should be in in the middle of these sort of i guess force field machines or whatever i don't know what these are projectors uh you should be in between two of them and on the one on the right so the cave is behind us looking towards the obelisk the one on the right if you go towards it, you should see that there is a Diana Log right here. Uh, Diana Log number 19 at 21.2 by 62.9.
then we are going to finally enter the cave to find the next two notes. There's only two notes in there, but we're going to find them. So again, here is the cave entrance. It isn't e very difficult to find because it's massive. What you want to do is enter it. Now, by default, you're not allowed to bring flyers into caves, so you might have to do this on foot, but I'm going to use a flyer. So the first thing you got to do is just get down in the cave. Uh, there's only one way going down, so this part shouldn't be too difficult. And then once you get to these red crystals, uh, the path will turn right and it'll bring you out into this big cave area. And this is where things can get a little confusing. But first, if you look in front of you, there is a river running right here, a little creek. And you want to just follow that creek left. And that'll quickly bring you to a waterfall. Dead end. However, if you look at the waterfall, if you look right, just up on the snow right here, as you can see, you'll find a Mayin note. This is number 16 at 18.3 by 78.4. And then the other note is all the way at the terminal. Uh, in case you don't know how to get to the terminal, so from here, if you have the waterfall behind you, you should see some blue alien stuff in the distance. So just get up to that. Um, get all the way up to it. And now you find yourself on a path that really only goes one way, so just follow this path. This goes around this little pillar right there. So follow this road. Then you get an option between going right, which goes downwards, or left, which goes goes kind of as a bridge across, and you want to go left. See, we kind of walk over the river and stuff. And from here, literally, there's only one way you can go. Unless you decide to jump down the side, there's only one way you can go. You'll come to some water. Just go past that. Let's go past that. And if you look to your right, uh, we actually walked past it, but the terminal is on our right over there. So just follow this path around. And as you can see, there is the terminal. Uh, as you can see, you can alternatively follow the river and walk up the side here. There's many ways to get to the to the terminal, but I just chose the traditional road. Anyways, uh, when you're here, what you want to do is walk up the ramp like you would. And once you get up here, instead of walking to the terminal, just look left. And as you can see, we have... A the one who waits note. This is number 13 at 6.8 by 85. And that was the final note, so you can now make your way all the way back outside. Then for the next note, we want to move to this location. So we are now pretty far up on the map. And we are at this sort of gateway, almost leading into the dome right here. So yeah, it looks like a gate. It's a border post right there. Um, and this one can be a little easy to miss because it's located in the middle of nowhere, like half the notes. But anyway, if you look to the right, you see the ice right here. If you look down on the bottom, you should see that there's a lot of bushes. And then there's like two rocks right there that are kind of halfway inside the ice. And if you just go to these two rocks right here, and then just look towards, you know, kind of follow the ice towards the dome, you'll see that among the bushes right here pretty quickly, you'll see we find May note number 17 at 10.6 by 64.4.
Then for the final note of the day, we will move to this location right here. So roughly these coordinates. Uh, we are very close to the border. We are inside the dome, but we are very close to the border. You can see a post right there. Uh, and there's also a lake here as well. So it, sh uh, it should be pretty easy to find this place. And what you want to do is quite simple. So if you start at the border post, you can see that there is a kind of shelf, cliff, kind of right here. You just follow that. And then it will soon steeply drop down to a lower level. And as soon as it's dropped, uh, it drops down, you should see that right there we'll find a Mayin note. Uh, so this is Mayin note number 13 at 10 by 72.2. And with that, we are done for this episode. If you did find this one helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.